Contact on the hill! Move, 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 move! Double time, double time! Let's go, let's go!
six two of us. They always fight that hard. <laughs> Only when they're in VA. Welcome to Nam, new guy. Red Fox 6. This is Bulldog 6. Over. I shackle. Sierra, Lima, Charlie, Delta, Lima, Sierra. Over. Requesting... Sir, I understand that. I have... Roger that. Bulldog 6 out. That didn't sound promising. It ain't promising. Did you get a final count? No, no final count yet, but I know for sure we lost Stitch, Rodway, and most of the F and G's. What about Williams? Williams is gone too. Alright, listen up. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. We're screwed. Command's not sending anyone else in, and we don't get pulled out until the morning. Great. How about just go ahead and invite the entire NVA up here and have a campfire? Jack, shut it. Now, I need three volunteers to go back down the hill to the listening post. Make sure VC doesn't come back for round two. I said I need volunteers. I'll do it, Lieutenant. All right, that's one. Of course, the kiss up volunteers. Thanks for volunteering, Jack. I don't need a suicide mission to get me a medal. No one's offering you a medal to do your job, Jack. Then why don't you do it, Sarge? I bet your pretty little wife won't mind. I need them up here with me, Jack. Now, any other volunteers, or am I gonna have to assign someone? Looks like you're number three, Pockets. Lieutenant, please, please, Lieutenant. Th there's gotta be somebody else, please. Take your hands off me, Private. Put them around this, and make sure those two don't end up dead. They'll make sure you don't end up dead. Now, do you understand me? Private, do you understand me? Sir. Then why are you still here? Jack, hero, move your asses, go! Kamikaze, set up a perimeter. Sarge, you're with me. Sir. All right, Pockets, it's simple. Two squelches on the handset, all clear. One, and we're screwed. Got it? What are you looking at, Jack? Not sure. Either someone with a death wish or a moron with no common sense. Haven't decided yet. You'd love to get out of here, wouldn't you? Would I ever? And I don't care how either. It could be by plane, train, jeep. It could be by an ox drawn chariot if they let me. You should be proud to fight this war. Would you listen at yourself? Nobody wants to be here. I don't want to be here. Pockets there sure as hell don't want to be here. The Sarge, the Lieutenant, I can promise you they don't want to be here. Even the people that live here don't. The only people that want to be here are you and the VC. Proud, please. This is our generation's finest hour. Like hell. You chose to be here. I got drafted here, and you don't see me complaining, do you? You act like that makes you sane or something. What is it with you? What was that? Relax, Pockets. It's just the wildlife. You sure? Because if it was anything else, we'd already be dead.
I can't be here. I shouldn't be here. Join the club, Pockets. No, 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 no. I wasn't supposed to be here. I had enough money, but they raised the cost for the deferment, and I got drafted here. I had no choice. Have you tried writing your congressman? I hear that one works wonders. Is this just some kind of joke to you? This whole war is a joke, Pockets. The minute you accept that is the minute you don't have to worry. I'm afraid Charlie's out there. There's worse things out there in that jungle than Charlie. What's worse than Charlie? Nathaniel Victor. Hey, he don't know. Nathaniel Victor. Who's Nathaniel Victor? He's a fanatic, hardcore, NVA, better trained than Charlie. If you had been here when we went into the Aisha, you would have had the privilege of meeting Mr. Nathaniel Victor. Hero, I hate to say it, but I think me and you are going to be the only ones capable of going on watch tonight. For once, I actually agree with you. I'll take the first two hours if you two want to get some sleep. Suit yourself. But don't get trigger happy, Hero. Bravo Lima 3, Bravo Lima 3, this is uh, Bulldog 6, uh, what's your set drop, over? Something wrong? It's just your turn, Jack. Everything happened while I was out. Just two bombers went by, nothing from Charlie. Maybe he took the night off. Hey, sorry, you seen the lieutenant? We'll have to wait till morning, Private. The lieutenant is currently getting some shut eye. I'm not gonna wake him up unless it's absolutely necessary. You uh, you check in with Jack and Hero and Pockets? I did. Got the all clear, and we got the go ahead. You know, I've, I've really been thinking about what Pockets said earlier about the lieutenant sending him to their death. I'd like to think not. You know, I have all the faith for Jack and Hero. They can survive anything out there, but Pockets, I'm worried he's gonna break. Worry about that too. Night, sorry. Bravo Lima 3, Bravo Lima 3, this is uh, Bulldog.
something wrong? I'm not picking them up, Sarge. They're probably asleep. Guess we'll just keep trying. Rebel Limit 3, this is uh, Bulldog 6. Uh, what's your sit, Rep? Over. Charlie might be too close. You think he'll survive tonight? Ask him if the situation is red. Uh, probably with three. Uh, is your sit rep red? I say again, is your sit rep red? Over. Come on, everybody, get your asses in gear. Sarge, I can't see anything. All right, somebody call the lieutenant and get some flares up. Are we gonna go in after him? No, absolutely not. This is a suicide mission. We've lost too many men already. What about Jack here in pockets? They have to wait till morning. I think they can make it that long. Come on, where's those flares? Hey, they're alive. Oh, easy, fellas. Sarge, 30 yards that way, no more. 20 yards back, Lawrence. Watch our six. Oh. Here we thought you were gonna be dead. Oh. Where's pockets? Give me. Tried to run, didn't he? He couldn't handle the pressure. None of us can. All right. Get your gear, We're getting out of here. Yeah, we thought this was the end. Not today. Not today. Sorry. Four bucks. 